What's up, y'all? Today we got a twofer. We got some bangers and mash over here, and we got some shepherd's pie over here. Both of these dishes I have not had yet, been saving it for a video. I mean, I've had a sausage before, I've had mashed potatoes, but not the combo. Um, and the gravy on here is looking amazing. It's a, uh, it's like a red onion and ale gravy. It is smelling so mighty fine in here. Over here, we got shepherd's pie. Now, I, I've probably had a cottage pie before, but I've never had a shepherd's pie. Little difference. There's a lamb in here, which seems absolutely amazing. This one came with peas and some more gravy. These are just hearty looking plates that, you know, you eat this at the pub, you eat this at home. This is what you need. This is the kind of food you need. I paid a pretty penny for this. I believe it was about $49 for both these dishes. Now, a lot of that has to do with me using the delivery apps and uh, it's always gonna be mo way more expensive. I leave a, a, a tip uh, on the apps. Well, you don't have to. Um, you, don't, you don't really have to leave tips over here, but if it prompts you for a tip, I'll probably leave a tip. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, when in London, as they say, but it is what it is. Let me show you what I'm working with here. So, whew. so this one right here, we got the, uh, the mashed potatoes, obviously. It came in a different container and I just kind of haphazardly threw it together. So that's why it looks like a mangled mess. But, um, you know, imagine a, an expert here putting this together. It would probably look amazing. Look at that gravy. You can see some of the red onions, which dare I say are superior to white onions. Anyway, you can see some of the onions in there. Here's the sausages. Um, only two, I would have liked to see three, but it's, it's all good. It's interesting that they are irregularly shaped. So that only means one thing. Must be handmade, that's what I'm gonna say. Here is the shepherd's pie. Now this one I really had to, I was struggling a lot with this and then I was trying to get the thumbnail as everything went awry. But we got peas, we got some of that gravy just floating around down there, uh, little strands of, of onions, but it looked better. I, I mean, I was gonna eat it out of the containers, but I figured I should plate it up. Um, shepherd's pie, oh my God, this, so, I smell cheese. There's cheese baked into this potato thing right here, unless I'm absolutely tripping. And then underneath, ooh, that's like unearthing uh, a grub hub. That reminds me of a scene in like The Lion King where you, you open it up and then there's just a bunch of, of goodness underneath, grubs and such. Um, we got peas, we got, looks like onions, carrots. Um, this one is actually a mix of steak mince and lamb. So, I can't wait to get into it, man. It looks so good. It smells so good. I don't even know where to start. Let me start off with the thing that I think will just be like the least mind-blowing, which will be the peas. And I'm gonna try this little wooden fork here to avoid any scraping. I, I got a new guy commenting. He said, man, I like your videos, but I, you gotta figure out how to, to get rid of that eating noise. And I'm like, well, Fair play, but it is a mukbang, so fair play to me, because that's how they originally have been always done, so I don't know. Anyway, let's start off with the peas. They look like peas, but mixing them with this gravy, that might be the play. Peas. Now, they taste like peas. Definitely better than the mushy peas I had the other day though, because these right here, they're combining with the, the gravy, which I'm already getting some taste of that gravy. It was amazing. Give me these peas mixed around with some gravy over those mushy peas any day. I, I mess with these peas. Those are actually quite nice. Now we do have a lot of potato things here. Now I, I, I did this combo, originally I was gonna do bangers and mash with um, toad in the hole, but I couldn't find any place that sold, to that sold toad in the hole. So I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me do something else. This is kind of similar, we both got potatoes, but the meat is different. So let me start off with some of this mash. This is a hearty mash. And it came kind of already drenched in the gravy. It would have been nice to have the gravy separate uh, and so I could just pour it on myself, but it doesn't really matter. It's all going down the gullet anyway. Going in. Oh, wow. 
that those that is a mash that flavor in there it's buttery it's rich it's flavorful it's almost got a meaty meaty flavor to it somehow i'm not sure if that's coming from the gravy on there but wow these are some of the oh hold on hold on one second Oh, no, that was a hair. I thought it was a human hair. It's actually just uh, probably a natural strand from some of the potatoes. They're cooking this up by hand back in the kitchens. A lot of you guys are complaining. Hey, why are you doing all these like cheap takeaway foods? Eat some real British food. So that's what we're doing. Um, and while this shepherd's pie, I believe, is actually from Ireland, you know, it's it's from the British Isles. All right. So anyway, now we confirm that these mashed potatoes are on point. Let's try it with some of this sausage. This should be a classic uh, Cumberland sausage here. Inside looking good. And I just feel like this with this is gonna be such a combination, such a great one, I should say. That is all I really need in life. Bangers and mash is banging. It's a banger. It's a it's a legitimate banger. Um, and you might think, okay, just sausages and potatoes. Anyone could eat that. Why is it like a, a special English dish? Well, when's the last time you had sausages and mashed potatoes on a plate like this with gravy? It's something that, you know, I've never had this combo before in my life. And it hits so hard. I mean, sausages and any type of potatoes. Like I've had sausages with um, kind of thinly sliced kind of baked potatoes before. This is, like I said, I could, I could live off this, man. Mighty fine. Don't sleep on it. This is mighty fine. Get some more of that gravy over here. Went to a pub with my buddy the other day and he ordered this and I was like, oh, I, I want to try it, but he was offering like, you want to try it? Now, got to save my first reaction for a video and here it is. I've been actually wanting to do this video for the longest of all times. Uh, they have one place in Korea that it looks really bogus and I, I'm always tempted to just like, should I go for it anyway? Glad I didn't. I'm glad I saved it for this. I, I, you know, I, I think in those containers, I don't know of anything else I would add to this. Maybe a side of some like, some greens of some sort. I think typically this can be eaten with peas, but I'm talking maybe broccoli, something like that. I don't know if they snuck some cheese in these potatoes or what, but like I said, man, this, this is to die for, really. Right up my, right up my street. I love that. Absolutely love it. Let's move on. Shepherd's pie. Shout out Ireland, all right? This doesn't really look like other shepherd's pies I've seen sold elsewhere. Uh, it's definitely got like a more of a crispy, cheesy crust on top. In my head, it was always kind of just like a mashed potato layer on top that wasn't cheesy or, or crispy like this. But I, I just got to say, this would probably be even tastier. I don't know. Going in. That's a fork dropper. That's a fork dropper, man. So this might be a little fusion, you know, with the cheese and the crispiness. I don't know if it is, or maybe it's traditional or just a regional thing. I don't know. But whatever this is, it is so mighty fine. It's unreal. Oh my. Frick, man. Frick. I 
You can taste some of that lamb in there. Love that. Really love that. It's giving it a whole new dimension of flavor. I, I would say that if this was just um, beef, which I think that's more of like a cottage pie, just using, you know, ground beef. Uh, but the, the addition of the lamb really takes us to the next level. No joke. And it's just such a, this, all of this is, is such comfort food. You don't need a knife and fork. You get, give me one utensil, this cheap little balsa wood, fake flimsy fork. And I can still max everything. I love that. No fiddling around. We're not putting, you know, I guess the green peas have a, give it a splash of color. Maybe part of the reason that a lot of people hate on English or British or whatever this kind of food is because the color palette can look a little bit uh, one tone. I'm talking like a lot of browns, a lot of, a lot of tans, you know what I mean? I love that though. I've said this before in many, a couple of videos probably, but it just matches the vibes. Like you're in a kind of a cloudy, kind of a wet, damp country. And it wouldn't make as much sense to like, let's contrast it to like Italy. We got the sun shining. You got reds and greens and colorful food. I kind of wonder if the climate does kind of affect the food. This is like, it's kind of, pretty chilly over here. It's not really sunny a lot of the times. It's gray. And when I think of that, I think of this just kind of bone sticking, heartwarming food. It's such a match. And just like I'm saying, like there's some foods where they hit different in a different environment. I, I'm pretty sure if I was eating this in, on a beach, like it wouldn't taste nearly as good. But in a pub with a pint, I kind of messed it up. I, I wanted to have a beer with this meal, but I probably, yeah, I drank too much last night. I didn't really drink that much. I'm, I'm getting old. That's what it is. I'm just getting too old. I'm glad I ate this. I kind of regret not eating it earlier. I have so many things I want to film, but I don't know if I'll be able to get them all. I only have like two weeks left here. But now, when I go to a pub, I went to like two pubs yesterday. I'm, I love the pub culture. I still haven't figured it out yet though. But um, yeah, no. Nah. Next time I go to a pub, I'm definitely getting one of the, either whatever they have. I'll probably bangers and mash. I feel like more pubs here would have bangers and mash than they would Shepherd's Pie. But I don't know, I could be ignorant to that. Here's what I don't get about pub culture. Something I haven't really figured out yet. So the other day I was in Shoreditch. I was, you know, I was walking down the street and all of a sudden I see this huge line, of this huge crowd on this, just in the regular street. And I go up to it, I'm like, oh, that's not a lie. And there's like all these like 100, 200 people are just out here chilling right outside the pub drinking in the regular street. And I'm like, okay, what's this all about? That's crazy. And then I keep walking, kind of hop around at different pubs and they're all like that. Just like maybe 10 people inside the pub, 100 people just standing outside of the pub. Also pubs, like I went to this pub the other day at like 5 p.m. So like, Pretty early, right? You would think people, some people are still working. Absolutely packed to the brim. Uh, I went there for dinner to, to eat food and like an early dinner and no one else was eating. Everyone was just drinking. I'm like, what, how, how? They just off work early and then they just get a beer and then go on their way and then eat dinner separately. Or like, what's going on with that? How does that work? 
I haven't been to a pub yet that just like has empty seating room. Even at like 3 p.m., I, I'm walking down the streets. I'm in Central, to be fair. Maybe it's more like tourists or whatever, but the pubs are always packed. It's pretty wild. Pretty insane. And then I went to one yesterday where, you know, they had like, like bouncers. They had like this three like bouncer security. It was just like a low key pub that I randomly stumbled across when I was walking to dinner. And uh, these guys, it was in Kensington or Chelsea or whatever. And then people, these bouncers came up and like, I was like sitting on the sidewalk, like checking my phone. Okay, where do we got to go? And they said, you can't stay on the sidewalk. Sit, sit down, please. And they're like, oh, no, no, no big deal. It's just like the, 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 the council, real strict over here. Too posh, or apparently. They don't like people standing on sidewalks. So I was like, okay. The other day was on, when I was in Shoreditch, we had literally 200 people standing on the street blocking traffic. Uh, discovering a, a lot of various interesting things over here. I'm loving it. Uh, I almost wish I could have been here for longer, but it is what it is. That, right there. I don't know if I say this every time, but I'm going to say it again. This is probably one of my favorite meals, if not. It's, it's definitely one of my favorite meals that I've had on video and maybe just in general uh, on this trip so far. I thoroughly enjoyed every part of it. And... You can't really buy Cumberland sausages or the sausages like that, that in Korea. So I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss this a lot. But maybe... Man. It's sad. I don't really want to go back. Ugh. I like it here. Anyway, I'm skating out here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. I was going to do Chinese today, but psych. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, peace.